Okay, ladies, let's start working on our altered art book. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and then uh, today I had to run some errands, and I stopped at Tuesday morning, and I found this napkin, and I just, I love black and white, and I love floral, of course, and so I thought, I want to use this, but I wasn't really sure how. I don't want to... You know, I don't really want it to be the background. You know, I don't want to cover it up with everything. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. But I had seen, oh, probably over a year ago, this technique. And I'm sorry, uh, you know, it was before I was really into mixed media that much. So I don't know who, um, whose video it was. I tried to find it, but I couldn't. But she showed a technique where she put a a napkin down on a, on a canvas and then she came back with some hot glue and layered different portions of the napkin with a repeat of whatever was there like say you have another piece that has that cut it out anyway I'll explain it as we do it. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never tried it, but I love experimenting and sharing with you if it works or it doesn't work. You know what a hot mess the hot woo was last time, so <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But um, as always, you know, go ahead and put two or three pages together. You know me, I like my three pages, so that's what I've done, and then get a napkin of your choice that you have that you really like and make sure if it's the first time you're doing this make sure that you separate all the layers some have two some have three separate all of your layers before you glue it down or else the top layer won't stick it'll just come off all right now I do it with uh, Mod Podge um, some people use different kind of mediums. Some people even use a glue stick. I've done that in the past also, and it's been successful. So, again, whatever you have, don't feel you have to go buying products if you don't already have them. Even if you just had Elmer's glue, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, this is your book. This is a book you're experimenting in, and having fun. Oops, I forgot this was a new one. <laughs> I stuck it all the way in. Oh well. I don't like to put too much. I mean, obviously it needs to be wet for it to stick, but if you put, when it comes to the napkins, I like to put a little bit so it doesn't tear, and then I can build it up after it dries, then I build it up with some on the top to make it more secure. But that's just the way I do it. Again, this is your book. These are just suggestions. So today is the 2nd of July. I don't know where the 1st went. <laughs> I usually post these on the 1st and I don't know what happened. I don't know why. I guess because I was concentrating that the 4th was in the middle of the week, and then I confused myself that the middle of the week was the 1st. <laughs> I don't know. It was crazy. And then I was distracted this weekend in a good way. Um, I had some ladies that live in the area come by, and we did art together all day Saturday. And so, I guess maybe that was on my mind, and I wasn't thinking of the dates. I don't know. I'm just making up excuses on, well, they're real. <laughs> they're real excuses. But, who knows? Who knows why I got all messed up on what the dates were. But anyway, we had fun. Um, they usually bring their own projects that they're working on, and we do things together. And then I had them bring some some fabric, and if you're if you're on my Facebook group, 
you saw pictures posted. We did some rusting on some fabric. It was a lot of fun. It was hot enough. That stuff rusted pretty fast. I think it was out there. We checked it, I think, in 45 minutes. And it was already printing really good on the fabric. So we decided to leave it a little bit longer in the sun. And uh, then went back and got them. And pretty cool. It was fun. Do something different. Alright, so you glue this down. And I just kind of pat it down because if you've got a lot of glue on it, what will happen is when you rub it, it'll tear. I've done that so many times. So I just make sure put, I, that I put a little bit of glue. That's why I emphasize that because if you haven't worked with it before, you're going to just get frustrated because you're going to tear it. And I want you to have fun. Okay. All right. So then, normally what I would do, I'd let it completely, completely dry. Maybe I should just do this and cut the video. I'm not sure. But I would normally let that completely dry. And then when it's completely dry, this just tears off. Super, super easy. It's coming off pretty good. I can always come back when it's completely dry and um, cut it. I don't know about the area that you live in, but it is unusually hot. The heat we've been having the past couple of weeks is really what we usually have, like in August, end of August. It's usually pretty hot here. But um, a couple of days ago, it broke the record. <laughs> I don't like breaking the record for heat. But on the other hand, my garden is going pretty good. I have a, I put a special uh, flower garden this year for my echodyne. I've learned over the past year of doing my echodyne what flowers work better than others. So, this spring I got those flowers planted and now I have some pretty good some pretty good um, flowers already growing and then um, whoops, I want that to glue together and then I will be able to use those and for those of you that um, in my group that have been showing what you've been dying I just love the stuff you've been doing and uh, I'm so excited that my original video that I put up it was back in September, I guess. It's almost got 40,000 views. So I guess people are kind of interested in the Echo Dine. And in that year, since I did that original video, I have learned so, so much. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a workshop here in my studio. We're going to film a portion of it. And then I'm going to include some of the, the workshop that we're doing um, in a uh, online version that I'll be selling. Um, I'm not sure. We're, we're still figuring out the date of the actual workshop. And then shortly after that, then the, um, the online workshop will be available. And so what that will be will be for people who are just starting um, to help them understand more about the types of papers that they would need to use, the kinds of plants to use, the results you're going to get, different additives that you can um, use that will alter the look of your prints and so on and so forth. And so it's for people that are really you know, obviously just novices, because that's what I am, but I've done so many boils, I can't even tell you, and I've learned so much, and I get asked lots and lots of questions from beginners, and so this workshop will um, 
address those kinds of questions. All right, this almost feels dry, almost. Okay, now what this lady did, let's go and try that. Let me put this in some water. Okay, this is what she did. She got her hot glue gun. Now I gotta think of where I put this because when it bends, you know, I don't want it to be too thick. So we'll do it more toward out here. Or maybe, let me start with a leaf to even see if this works. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Um, I know, I'm gonna try it with that and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna, it has a repeat on there, so let me tear that out. So that would go right there. So then what she did is she got her glue and oops, my glue can cooperate. Okay. She went sort of like this. To create some dimension. Then she let it cool a little bit. You can't put it on, uh-oh, uh-oh. You can't put it on straight um, when it's that hot. It's got to be sort of like you can touch it and it's still a little tacky. So we'll see. <laughs> this one is the, um, oh, this isn't the, oh, it is high tip, uh-oh. Okay, well, we'll see. Maybe you can tell by the color. Oops, well, it's still sticky, but it's not, it doesn't burn. So let's put that on there. Put that. Oh, it's sticking. It's working. All right. Let me get some leaves. I think I'll do some of the leaves. Let's see how that works. Let's see. Can I get the same ones? Um, that's from a different place. Oh, that's from... Uh-oh. It's like a puzzle. Oh, that comes from over here. No. I don't know. Oh well, we'll just make them work. Because after I put these on, then we'll come back and do some, some coloring on them. And then we can highlight whatever it is we want to highlight. And if you know whose video it was I'm talking about, please put her name in the comment. I mean, I saw this like about two years ago, and I don't know if it was a, a new one or an old one. Like I say, I was new to all this, and back then I didn't even know you could you know, <laughs> save the video or, or become a, a subscriber. I didn't know any of that. I was a novice. <laughs> Still a novice. But at least I know you can subscribe. <laughs>
Yeah, when the girls came over Saturday, they brought some stuff and they were opening the refrigerator and they had to laugh because it was full of plants. <laughs> I said, don't eat anything in the refrigerator. That's all for my echo boiling. do a portion of that and see what that does or I could put the full on this one what should we do let's go halfers and see what happens just to be different This is a new glue gun. I don't think I like it. Maybe I just gotta get used to it. Cool a little bit. Getting ahead of myself. There's enough there. It's lifting. Lifting. Well, around the edges. I can't remember. Maybe around the edges she put again some more of the, the glue after she built up this. That's what I'm going to end up doing, I think. Because if I put glue, I don't know. Let's try it. Let's just try it. I know you brought, probably can't see the difference, but I can. Once we get the, uh, we get some paint on it and some shading, I think, I think it might look pretty cool. <laughs> she said confidently. <laughs> okay. So anyway, one of the ladies that was here Saturday was Shannon. And she played around with, um, where are they, my, um, I don't know where they are, my Distress Oxides, I had, I was gifted, uh, I think, three or four of them, and I hadn't played with them yet, and so she was playing with them. I still haven't figured out, you know, I guess kind of sort of what the big deal is. What is the difference? How do you use them? I guess once I play with them, I hope, it'll become more obvious. 
All right, so we got that one, and let's just do, let's do what? Should we do the flower or just the date? I don't know. We can always come back and layer it again if we want to layer something else, I would guess. So, I guess I'll do that. Right? Right. I don't know. I know. I'll just do this part of the... I dried the uh, Mod Podge, but I reactivated the hot glue. <laughs> so be careful. I'm going to go see, why is that shiny? Ah, it's hot glue. Okay, that'll cool down fast. All right, now, I have these watercolor brushes. These are Gray Reese. And so I think I'm going to use these. I haven't tried these on something like this, on napkins. So it'll be interesting. <laughs> See, I don't mind making mistakes because we're all friends. So we'll see what happens. Now, <laughs> uh, let's see. Whoa, hello. That really soaks in. Wow. Now see, I haven't put anything on top of this. Because afterwards I was thinking, wait a minute, if I put the Mod Podge over it, then I may not be able to, you know, color. I've got some purple. I'm going to mix everything. Too. Ooh, maybe with the yellow. What are the colors do I have? There we go. Anyway, so if you have watercolors or if even if you just have acrylic paints, you can dilute them down to the consistency of watercolor. That looks cool. I do that a lot. I just wanted to try these out because I hadn't played with these. But, um, Yeah, these are cool. Wow. See, sometimes you don't even know what you have in your drawers. <laughs> Very cool. My 
fantasy is to learn how to watercolor. Ever before I did anything with mixed media, when I was younger, I used to watch PBS and they had some watercolorist, I don't remember who it was, and I would fantasize it <laughs> one day, and I would watch, I didn't have any paper, I didn't have any paint, I didn't have anything, but I watched and thought, someday, well, that day has not come, but you never know, you never know, I think that's pretty cool, now, now, let's see, I have, is this yellow? No, what is this? Oh, I don't think this is open yet. How do you, I forgot how I opened these. I know, you're, you're over there screaming and hollering at me. Do this, do that. I think that's all you do, right? Just take that off. And make sure punctures All right I think yeah there it, go. it went I felt it okay I don't know what color this is we'll find out hold on squish 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 I see it moving It's not coming out yet. Hold on. If you hear me scream, it's because it squirted me. Well, the other ones came out. very, very dark. I think it's black. <laughs> Is it black? Looks like it's black. Oh, it's iridescent. Look at that. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look how beautiful. Oh boy. Okay. Except, I don't want that color right now. So, what I need... so pretty. Look at that. Holy moly. Okay. Get back to what we're supposed to be doing. I know this. Oh, look what I just did. <laughs> Don't shake the product. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm going to do. It wasn't my plan, but it's going to have to be now. I am going, oh, I am going to do the background with this color. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. See how accidents happen? Maybe I shouldn't have colored the flowers at all. Just the background. I hear you. I hear you. But I already have one flower done. It could be the sole flower though, right? I hope I'm in frame. You just need such a light touch because that paper is 
so absorbent. I mean, it is a napkin. You're supposed to absorb. successful way of doing my yard. Well, this spring, I was there, well, not this spring, a couple of weeks ago, I was out there working in my yard, minding my own business, clipping back some flowers, clipping back some bushes that are getting too big, putting them in the bag to put them out for pickup. Same darn thing happened. Well, today it marks two weeks. It's just barely. The remnants are there. It looks like nothing now, but you should have seen it before. You wouldn't have wanted to touch me. You'd think I was <laughs> all catchy. So now, here I am doing all this dying with all the plants, running around town in parking lots, picking up leaves. And now, 95 degree weather, I'm going to have to have gloves on, with long sleeves, running around the neighborhood, picking up leaves. People are going to call the cops on me for sure. Here's a crazy lady! Did you see on the news the other day, <laughs> that poor little kid? How old was he? Eight, nine? Mowing a lawn and the neighbor called the cops on him? So if they're going to call the cops on an eight-year-old, they're going to call the cops on some old strange lady. Well, on second thought, maybe they should. Because somebody opened that little kid a GoFundMe account. Because he was working. This is why he was working. He was mowing lawns. And they asked him what he was going to do with the money. Well, this guy was a real entrepreneur because he said that he wanted to invest it in better equipment. 
so that he could grow his um, mowing service. Now, how many kids want to reinvest in their own business? They don't even, most kids, most adults don't understand that concept. So here's this kid, really got a business mind, out there mowing lawns, because he wants to get better equipment for the next season. Well, somebody, I forget who it was, I don't know if it was a relative or the lady he was mowing the lawn, somebody decided, hey, we need to get this little kid a GoFundMe account so he can get his new equipment. He might even be able to get it this year. So the goal they put up there, because he usually puts a goal on the GoFundMe, the goal was a thousand dollars because he had set his new equipment that he was eyeing on the mower and an edger and a blower and you know various things it was going to cost about a thousand dollars so they put the goal of a thousand dollars well when I saw I forget it was yesterday or the day before yesterday the fun had only been up 24 hours that little guy already had eighteen thousand dollars he, if he could drive, he's going to end up having enough money to buy a truck for his business. <laughs> he could probably hire somebody to drive him to his route <laughs> to do all these laws. <laughs> so, maybe I should get arrested. And then I get interviewed and um, say, oh, poor lady, she's just trying to do her art. Ever since she was a little kid, she watched PBS and she could never do, could never achieve her art. She never had the money. And now, the few little things that give her joy, she goes out, picks up leaves out in parking lots to do her art. And what do they do? They arrest her. Bing! I got lots of money. <laughs> I can take my art classes to learn how to watercolor. It sounds like a plan. Okay. I like how this is coming out. What do you guys think? It wasn't at all what I planned, because I wasn't going to do the background, but after I made the mistake, I thought, well, I guess I have to do the background. So you just never know which, which direction your art's going to go. Let it tell you what you're supposed to do. That's when you get frustrated. When you want it to do what you want it to do, and it's going, no, 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 and you're going, yes, 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 and it's going, no, no, no. Just shut up and let the art speak to you. Great, great, great. I need to get some coming out. Hold on. I don't want it to splatter on a flower. Let me get this going. I'm going to squeeze it. I love the colors. I just don't like the, the inconsistency of the flow. Maybe it's just me.
My camera ended up turning off at some point we had a little storm out there so we had thunder so I didn't hear the little click it gives me this little sound to let me know the battery is going down but I reviewed the video and the only thing that really got cut off was me using this charcoal pencil I like using this a lot and basically all I did was I went around all the edges and I just highlighted some of the flowers. I got kind of crazy and started doing everything. That's what I usually end up doing. But um, the page did not come out anything like I expected, but that's usually what happens when you don't have a real plan. You just have sort of an idea. Originally, I wasn't going to do the background. I was only going to paint the flowers, but you saw what happened there, so I had to do the background. Um, uh, I was going to do multiple layers of this, but I saw that on the video, it just doesn't show like it does in person. So if you do this, you'll, you'll appreciate more when you see it up close. It's just not translating you know, well on the video. But it's still a fun technique to try, and depending on the kind of napkin that you have, you can really lift and raise various things. Um, you can do multiple layers. You know, once you put that one layer, then you can put some more glue and put the same picture, and you can, you know, pretty much make it as much um, the height and the texture that you want. It's kind of a fun technique. I enjoy doing it. So. Um, even though it's not what I thought it was going to be, I like it. And so I hope that um, I've inspired you to try maybe something new and not to be discouraged if what your original intention, you know, hits a bumpy road and it goes in a different, um, totally different direction. You can still be happy with the end results because remember, this whole book is just you playing and learning techniques and things that um, you can apply to um, other projects that you have. So I hope I've inspired you to try something new. Have fun and don't be discouraged.